Okay, finally live. My hair looks like crap. That's why I'm wearing a hat. I thought I'd fix that. <laughs> okay. All right, so you got three viewers. Maybe I'll wear my hat forward. I don't know. <laughs> Try that. Eh, whatever. And as always, it seems like the video doesn't... The live stream doesn't ever work on my computer. But that's what I'm doing my phone anyway. I'm going to wait a, a few minutes here. The stream is on now. I, I was going to do it four, moved it to 410, moved it to 430. But I was like, no, I'm going to start now. I just wanted to get the link out there for everybody to know about the stream. Um, it is it is terrible outside. It is cold. Last time I checked, it was like maybe 12 or 13 degrees with a sub-zero wind chill. Ugh. We had almost three inches of snow here where I live in Park City, Kansas. Just a few minutes north of Wichita, Kansas. Um, just for now, just wait and see if anybody's going to join me. Um, otherwise, this will be a replay for later if anyone wants to watch, you know, when I, you know, open up cards. So I still got one viewer, so welcome to the stream. Feel free to chat with me. And I'm going to open the cards here shortly. I'm just kind of waiting to see how people will jump on the stream. And as I said on the description, uh, nothing else to do. Fast lane is not till next Sunday, so I'm not gonna get my my predictions until then. Plus, it's like they haven't made that many matches for the pair view. It's almost seemed like more like a throwaway show rather than you know anything real special. WrestleMania is not for another month, and then you know in between that, then and now, or now and then, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Think of that, then now forever. Gonna be open these here in a moment. Along with these, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, and an heritage box. I showed these in my Toy Hunter FRC episode 16. They were like the only things I picked up at Walmart besides a Alicia Fox figure. Um, and I was like, I was like, you know, I was gonna try to do a video for those, and I was like, nah, screw it, I'm gonna do it live. So far, one viewer. Feel free to chat with you, you know, whoever you are. Hopefully, if you're one of my subs, not just. Somebody at random. So like I said, uh, I'm just trying to wait. I've already got the link on my Twitter and my Facebook. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to also view the stream on my computer. Hopefully it doesn't lag on you guys. It probably will. It, it happens, but I made sure there's like at least a 30 second delay. And I also made sure to, um, you know... Try to, I guess, what it's called low latency, normal, or there's normal latency, which low was for real time interaction, so I get to see your comments live, but then there's the normal where it'll be better for playback. And why does my computer not want to show the stream? Well, good thing I have a second phone on me. <laughs> this phone's just for Wi Fi only. I'm using my Galaxy Note 9 for my live stream. I just want to check just to see how well the stream's going, hopefully. Since my computer's not wanting to show it to me, so computer's starting to really be a bust. Oh, well. Yeah, so I'm going to go check it out on my phone while I'm waiting for somebody to, to comment. Hello out there! Like, if you're there... Otherwise, I'll leave this video up, I think. For anyone watching, maybe I'll start opening cards at the 5 minute mark. I don't know. All right, so yeah, it's playing good on my phone, just not on my computer. I don't, I don't know. Weird. But anyways, uh, yeah, the weather is crappy. Of course, how's the weather where you guys are? If you want to comment, are you living somewhere where it's super cold? Do you live somewhere where it's warm? I know I've got viewers on the southern half of the world. My buddy Josh lives in Australia. I know it's summer for, you know, his neck of the woods. I wish it was summer here. I'm like, yeah, I don't like when summer's hot, but. I hate winter. I mean, I'm, I'm so ready for it to be spring already. So, um, just seeing if anyone's going to join me. I like, like I said, I posted the links on Twitter and Facebook, which I seem to get better interactions on Twitter. And actually, Instagram, too. I, I don't know. I'm going to stop maybe posting the link to Instagram, but Instagram is kind of a little bit tricky because I have to use my mobile, you know. I don't know. Maybe I can use Instagram on the computer, maybe. So, like I said, one viewer uh, so far, at least, unless that's just referring to me because I'm watching on my computer. Oh, man. Somebody's got to be on YouTube right now. I'll see my stream. I said I was going to put the five-minute mark. I don't know. I'm still waiting, so 
you know, if you guys do miss this, I guess this will be on replay. You can go back and watch it later. You know, and also these are these two boxes here aren't really too special. But besides the five roster update cards that come in each box. You're not really guaranteed to pull like any hits or any parallels, anything like that. These though, for sure, there might be a parallel in each pack. But will there be a hit in one of these? That that'd be awesome. A Shawn Michaels auto, or just a cool Matt relic of some kind. So I think I'll get to those here in a moment. And then I think I'll start with the Heritage box. This is the only one I have here. As I rip it open. So if anyone joins the stream late, you can feel free to rewind and then go back and watch when I open up the boxes. And then hopefully I'll try to stay on as long as I can. I'll probably stay on until about, oh, I don't know, I want to say, it's going to be 5 o'clock my time. 5.30, so it'll be 6 o'clock for those of you out on the East Coast, maybe 6.30. I don't know, it just depends on how well the stream goes. And also, if you hear any noise in the background. Hey, Augie, man. Okay, thanks for thanks for joining. Okay, first first viewer. All right, awesome. So, of course, as I mentioned, I'm getting ready to open these pack, this, this uh, box right here, the Heritage Value Box. Then I'll get to the Dead Now Forever, and then I'll get to these two value packs. And, hey, the front front card is somebody who should be in the match at Fastlane next Sunday. Which uh, I'll talk more about fast playing in a little bit. I'm not gonna do my predictions for that till next Sunday because right now it's only like four matches, and I want to save that for when I do the fast play stream. But so I'm gonna try to put every card at the front here so you can see each one of them. Of course, Kofi Kingston. Hopefully, he will be at WrestleMania if he's not because he's not gonna be in the fast lane match. Oh, here's Nia Jax. Here's Sami Zayn. We're still waiting for him to return. His his old friend slash nemesis Kevin Owens. Of course, will be in the fast lane match. Just came back. Here's Sheamus. Oh, here, here's The Rock. Oh, he's going to do the eyebrow. We have Xavier Woods. All right, pull two members of the New Day. Got Billy Kay. Chad Gable. We don't see much of him now since he and Bobby Roode lost the tag belts. Oh, hey, John Cena. And look, yeah, before he had the you know crazy hair. <laughs> Liv Morgan, which, by the way, they showed a new figure of her at, um, it was Las Vegas Supercon, I believe the event was called. Definitely look forward to that Liv Morgan figure, despite the fact that it's going to be a Target exclusive. Oh, I hate the chases. Here's Nikki Bella. Seth Rollins. Oh, Queen Fowl Kurt Hawkins. Awesome. Yeah, I have a Kurt Hawkins back here. It, I haven't put it on the wall yet. Um, Which one did you find? Did you find the variant or just the standard blue attire? If you found that variant, man, that, that that's pretty cool if you did. But your, your figure's all right, because same figure, just like, other than, you know, the color difference. There's a Brian Kendrick. We got The Undertaker, which he's a free agent currently from the company. He's not even associated with WWE right now. This man, I guess, is mad. And, hey, I think I got a parallel. Ooh, nice. I was not expecting to pull a parallel in this. I guess you do get parallels in the value boxes. In fact, there's two here. But this one's blue, and this one is numbered 62 of 99. Oh, that, that, that's awesome. By the way, Roman Reigns, you know, he's back. After four months of leukemia treatment. And some people are trying to say that. It's fake, but there's like already articles out there saying that it was not fake. Why would and why would WWE fake this? It's like maybe the Attitude Era they would have done something like this, but just have the stand. Okay, we had yeah. Okay, yeah, I have the standard one too. I mean, I want to find that variant, but you know, if I'm lucky, same with the Shelton Benjamin. I'd love to find that Shelton Benjamin variant, but you know the chase. But anyways, yeah. So Roman Reigns, of course, he's back. Love or hate, which, you know, he got a good positive reaction to come back. I mean, like I said, I'm going to say, yeah, his leukemia was real because they said there's like different ways, there, there's like different stages of leukemia, different treatments. Despite the fact he didn't lose hair, you know, if, if you guys saw Monday, he was not as ripped as he is here. And I did notice that. So I, I'm going to say he it was real. It, you know, he was able to at least put in remission after four months of treatment. Because, well, you know, there's always going to be those people that are conspiracy theorists thinking it was fake, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm, I'm just glad he's back, and WWE has nothing to gain from doing something like that, saying that he had leukemia just for it to be a storyline. But, anyways, we'll go back to Roman. Of course, here's a. So, I got Apollo Cruz, Bronze Border. I'm going to move the Borders parallel cards off so I can show them again later as a recap. 
another bronze border of Cedric Alexander. Pretty cool. And then we got a Bobby Roode rookie card. Scott Dawson rookie card. Here's Connor of the extension. We got Rowan, of course, now with Dan Bryan. So that tire is now out of date. <laughs> Here's Victor. Hey, pulled both measures of the Ascension. Cool. And, well, Harper, who was with Rowan as part of the Bludgeon Brothers. And, by the way, I do appreciate that like. Augie Matt, I figure you're the one I gave me because you're the one watching at the moment. But that's all right. If anyone else does join, I do I do hope so. If not, hey, Augie Matt, I'm glad you joined. I mean, one viewer is better than none. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Here's Arya Davari. And if you haven't heard, his brother, Sean Davari, who wrestled in WWE previously, he's now back at the company as a producer. Here we got Miz and the Miseraj, or now, of course, the Miseraj calls himself the B-Team, but we don't see them anymore. Here's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. We got the I Iconics, or I-Iconics, as they're called sometimes. <laughs> Zorro and Sheamus. By the way, what about the Hardy Boys getting back here? Was, that was pretty cool, right? <laughs> Here's Dime Dallas Page. We got Booker T. Holly Race, by the way, of course, in his king attire, as you see on the on the card, that figure I'm never going to find. I don't think anyone has, unless you were lucky to find the card, you know, or the figure, I mean, the figure when it came out, when they briefly released that, that you know, third series of the uh, Flashbacks. All right, appreciate it, Augie, man. You're awesome. Got the Iron Sheik. Sheiky, baby. Mr. Perfect, and hey, you know, two backpack wrestlers who will be Having you know upcoming Retrofest figures, I think the Mr. Perk figure should be out soon. I the, I've heard about the flyer, and of course, I don't know if you can see it behind me because I have it back here. I have the Retrofest, uh, you know, you know, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Well, hopefully my area has them because if you if you saw my toilet in the episode from last week, uh, I went to two WalMarts and they did not have. The, the WrestleMania display. Hopefully they will, because I know there's at least one Walmart in my area that does get it. And sometimes they put it like as an end cap, and it'll be in, like at the back. So whenever I have a chance to go to Walmart again, I'm gonna definitely try to check for the uh, WrestleMania end cap. Hopefully I can find him. I also found Bob Backlund or Sensational Sherry. And maybe if I make another target trip, they'll finally have Pete Dunne in Elite 64. But eh, you know, I, I at least hope I can find him. Hey, yo, Scott Hall, the bad guy. <laughs> oh, hey, one of my favorites all the time, Sting. Woo! Also, how cool to see, to see Sting this past Monday for, well, what was supposed to be Ric Flair's birthday bash. And, yeah, we're going to talk more about that because, you know, I heard the rumors about the guy that, of course, came back, good old Batista. But, yeah, there's Sting, which, you know, Sting's hair has gotten a lot lighter, and he looks more like Jack Nicholson nowadays. <laughs> Not that's a bad thing. I like Jack Nicholson, but just who Sting reminds you of nowadays. And then Michael P.S. Hayes. So that's it for that value box. And I see you got another viewer. Jamie Williams just said hi. So hi as always, Jamie Williams. Hopefully you have more to say today, today dude. <laughs> but so two viewers. Well, since we have four viewers watching now, so cool. And two likes. So whoever gave me a second like, I appreciate it. And so now we'll get ready to open the Dead Now Forever 2018 box. So I guess I was kind of wrong. You, you can get perils. I just haven't opened made these boxes. I think the last box I opened was from the rest. Yeah, the the new 2019 Road Rust Mania set, and I did. I don't know if I'm right. Pulled I pulled any parallels from that or not. And this is a set I had a hard time finding at first. Like my Walmart's did not stock these. Now they're finally getting these in stock, so now I can kind of catch up on the set. All right, so we got a 25th anniversary Raw card. The higher power of the corporate ministry is revealed. I'm, of course, reading the back, so I don't have to read on my phone. It's me, Austin! Oh, son of a bitch. Or, oh, God, the hover of JR said it. It's me, Austin! It was me all along! <laughs> all right, here's another Raw 25 card with Mr. Perfect. We got another Raw 25 with... Oh, yeah, I didn't read that back card. Sorry. Mr. Perfect and Featuring Flair in a Loser Leaves Town match. And then Dolph Ziggler went in the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, that was that was pretty cool when that happened. Too bad Dolph hasn't had a world title since then. I mean, he's been lucky being near Continental Champion, U.S. Champion, Tag Champion. Oh, well. 
They got Mr. Command's limousine explodes. Well, we know what how that ended, of course. Yeah, a wrestler, we don't... Well, WWE doesn't want us to talk about, of course. Kind of put an end to that. But, you know, Benoit. Because of his real life death, but whatever. We got Goldberg debuts WWE, of course, from 2003. That's cool. Then we have another Raw 25. Kurt Angle brings a milk truck to the ring. And I still need to get my hands on that Milk of Mania 3-pack. I'll probably get online because it seems like the retailers in my area don't sell the Epic, the Epic Moans figures. I don't, I don't know. It's like Toys R Us did for a while before Toys R Us went out of business here in the U.S. Stone Cold Steve Austin enters the leg of Brett Hitman Hard. Okay. So, if anyone sees that guy's message, just ignore him. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna, you know, talk to that guy. <laughs> Triple H challenges Undertaker to a match at WrestleMania. Oh boy. Well, just do that. And use your timeout. I'll just have to block that guy later. Whatever. There's always going to be those random people that find your live streams. I think I saw him on. Agenda Free TV's live stream one time. Okay, so whatever. There's always gonna be jackasses out there. Forget that. Forget that dude. So we uh, got. Wow, the trolls are full force today. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Mr. Cosby, for breaking out of prison or using the prison computers. I mean, M Bill Cosby, everybody. <laughs> Undertaker captures Stokel Steve Austin. Hmm. That's a good car. Triple H returns to WWE. We got Scott Hall returns with DJ Arjun X. Oh, that was from just from last year. That was a cool moment. Too bad Kevin Ash couldn't have been there, but you know, I guess he had our commitments or something. Okay, I'm back. Looks like the trolls got a little butt hurt that I blocked them. Because <laughs> they must have corrupted my stream or something, but oh well, whatever. <sighs> okay, so get back to the cards. You know, I just was showing this. Yeah, apparently, this is what the trolls probably think I look like too. Whatever. <sighs> That's what, that's what I am not giving knowledge of. Hey, cool, a bronze board, a bronze parallel Nikki Bella card. All right, cool. And then a bronze Sasha, Sasha Banks. And then we've got Sarah Logan. So we'll start off with some of the women. And, of course, I'm going to be waiting to see what comments I hear next because I, I was like I haven't heard before. Bobby Roode. And then we got The Miz. Here's Connor. And then we got our truth. Andrade Cien Almas. And we got Danny, Danny Birch from NXT. David Otanga, who we see on the kickoff show usually. Jason Jordan, who we haven't seen since his injury back at the beginning of 2018. Uh, his career may be over, so. I mean, he's trying to come back, of course, so we'll see. Kona Reese for NXT. Cool. First NXT card. Got No Way Jose. Samoa Joe. Let's see. Tainara Conti. Andre Giant. Awesome. The Million Dollar Man, Teddy Biasi. 
than Woke and Matt Hardy. Of course, he's not Woke and Matt Hardy anymore. He's back just being Matt Hardy. And then we got, hey, Liv Morgan, awesome. We got Hanson. Dakota Kai. Bray Wyatt, which hopefully he'll be back sooner or later. We're still waiting to see when he's come back. I heard rumors he'll be back soon. We got Bailey. Carl Anderson. Nikki Cross. Rowe. The War Raiders. I think I pulled Hanson, I believe. I got distracted. We've got Scott Dawson. Um, Unfortunately, I do not. I wish I had some autograph figures. I haven't had a chance to meet wrestlers, at least not yet. Uh, maybe someday. So we got Trent Seven from NXT UK. Here's Beth Phoenix. Oh, and of course, my favorite of all time, Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. So that is it for that box. So now we're going to get ready to open up these two packs here. And I don't remember what cards were the uh, update cards. I think always the first five cards are usually the updates. I don't remember. I have to look through. I'm sure they were, they were probably in the middle somewhere. I'll look later when I do a recap. Just, man. All right, man. The trolls have come back in full force. Maybe they just go look for live streams. Because I swear I... I saw that same troll like in our person's live stream. Yeah, well, whatever. Trolls are going to exist. Alright, so. We got a Raw 25 card. Holds first ever draft. That's from 2002. We got The Rock. Gets presented with This Is Your Life. Oh, yeah, of course. One of the best, you know, highest rated segments in Raw history. Can't forget about that. New Age Outlaws give Chainsaw Charlie a dumpster ride. Seth Rollins turns on S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah, of course, five years ago. You know, this kind of May will be the anniversary of when Seth Rollins first turned on them, but at least now, you know, he's he's a good guy nowadays, and maybe he'll beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. We'll see. All right, got Goldberg returns to WWE after 12 years. And then Shawn Michaels says farewell to WWE Universe. Of course, you know, his original retirement before he came back at Crown Jewel, but whatever. You know, if he wants to do that, you know, if he wants to do that, it was his choice. Can't get mad at him for it. So we've got a killing day. Cool. Bronze parallel. Oh, you gotta love these trolls. Ah, typical trolls. Oh, here we go. Awesome. Which I'm pretty sure the person with the name is not gonna like I pulled this, because apparently he's a racist. The, the troll that was just on here, if you guys saw his comments. Of course, it probably won't show up in the replay, but I'll be waiting for when that troll comes back. You can keep making a bunch of counts and get yourself... Yeah, I'm definitely having a Belting Dream. Top number 11 of 25, so this would be a silver. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh boy, you gotta love these trolls. I use your timeout. Boy, gotta love these trolls, man. That is a cool Shawn Michaels card. Awesome. It's acts as Gressifree and the Triple H vs. Undertaker Hell in a Cell match. So awesome. And then Nikki Cross. And then here we got another row, which I believe I already pulled him earlier. And our Scott Dawson. So some cards I've already pulled so far. Because, of you know, I remember I pulled him for the value box. And then let's see, you got Mojo Raleigh. What happened with that? The whole him sitting in front of a mirror trying to get himself all pumped up about trying to be better, I guess. And then Lacey Evans, who likes to come out and strut on Raw and SmackDown for no reason. Well, I guess we'll see what that's going to, you know, turn into. All right. Last pack to open. 
And then maybe we'll just talk more wrestling, and then I'll try to just look and see how many more trolls get blocked. <laughs> because you know what, man? The trolls, they can keep trying, you know. Just not worth my time. Here, trolls. Here I am. Look, this is my most recent baby picture, trolls. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you can't make fun of yourself, then the trolls win. I mean, whatever. All right, so I got Kurt Angle. Rings a milk truck to ring. Yeah, I already pulled that card. Steve Austin injures the leg of Bret Hitman Hart. Okay, there's a card I haven't pulled yet. At least I don't think I have. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God Tank One. I appreciate it, man. I can finally get another good good viewer. So we got Augie Man and God One God Tank, of which I think One God Tank, you started following me on Instagram if, I, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, here's a Triple H Shout Air Terrible match at WrestleMania. And if you guys missed any of the cards I pulled, I mean, you can feel free to watch the replay, or I'll try to do a recap of the best pulls I, I made. Undertaker captures Stone with Steve Austin. I already pulled that card earlier. Yeah, this one I remember pulling. So, as always, I'm, I'm expecting to pull some duplicates. So, hey, of course, go along with the... I mean, I'm pretty sure I pulled this card regular anyway, but here's the Matt Relic again. Still pretty cool to have. All right, good. I'm, that's why I figured, God take. I knew your name looked familiar. So thanks for being a sub. Thanks for following me on Instagram. I followed you back. And I'll have to check out if you have a, any videos on your channel. I have to go check your channel out, man. All right, so getting back to the cards here. Hey, Jeff Hardy. Of course, I already pulled a Woken Matt Hardy earlier. Hardy boys back together. There's Shawn Michaels a tribute insert. Cool. Uh, I'll try to read it. So, uh, enters W Hall of Fame. All right, yeah, so that'd be one of the last cards, number thirty-seven to forty. Okay, so. Close to the end of those cards. Got Cesaro here from the bar. And then Constable Baron Corbin. And Dale Tommy, of course, no longer with the company, just got released recently. Rig Moss from NXT. Seth Rollins. Oh, cool, Augie, man. Appreciate it, man. I'll have to follow you back. We got Vanessa Bourne from NXT. We got Billy Kay. Hope that focused right. Cesar Bononi from NXT. Ricochet, of course. With him, Alistair Black, and Gargano and Champa now on the main roster. I mean, maybe a little soon for them to be called up. They should have waited for WrestleMania, but, you know, I guess we'll see what they do with them further. Shane Thorne, which I believe he's still on NXT, but his partner, Nick Miller, asked for his release so he can spend more time with his family. Ty Dillinger, of course, speaking of people who have been released, unfortunately, I'm, I'll, I'm sure I'll speak for many of this. He will be missed, and hopefully there'll be better opportunities for him in the independent scene. And finally, Shinsuke Nakamura. So there you go. That dies up. There's all the cards I pulled. Of course, the best ones I'll get to. I'm trying to see if I missed any bronze borders. I I think in that second value pack, I might have missed some. <laughs> if I did, it's all, well, you know, I'll just try my best to kind of Keep up with you guys. Keep up with the cards. And then, you know, the trolls. I used to be barred by trolls back in the day. They used to irritate me. Nowadays, I'm like, whatever. You know what? I got better things to do than to worry about what trolls have to say about me. I mean, believe me, I'm not the only guy who looks the way I do. It's like, you know, haters are going to hate. They probably don't even want to show themselves. And, and if they do, well, you know, if you have a good-looking body and you like to harass people, fine. That's that's fine, you know, do your thing. I mean, whatever. Alright, so I don't think I missed any bronzes in my second pack of them. But anyways, I'm going to try to recap everything I pulled. Of course, all the parallels, including one that was really awesome. So recap, so Killian Dane bronze parallel. Sasha Banks bronze. Nikki Bella. And then that's from the Then Now Forever set. And then from the Heritage, bronze of Cedric Alexander. Bronze of Paul Cruz, and then the nice blue blue parallel of Roman Reigns, the recently returned Roman Reigns, number 62 of 99, and of course, 11 out of 25, Velveteen Dream, Silver Matte Relic. Very, very nice. So that's it. That's all the cards I pulled. Um, like I said, maybe you guys want to chat with some wrestling, chat figures, um, and then I'm just, you know, just anything, you know. Of course, fast lane uh, next Sunday. I'll try to be back on for a fast lane stream, regardless of what the trolls think. And, uh, you know, 
hopefully more of you guys will join me and you will I'll stay tuned for our videos I decided to do. Uh, I'll try to do our Toys of R to see. Hopefully sometime next week. Maybe hopefully I'll get lucky on you know, a new figure. I mean I, I found some good figures when I was at Target for sure and um, Walmart's kind of been a hit or miss, but hopefully I mean I still buy stuff online. Exactly. You know what? Trolls, they, they have nothing better to do with their lives. They, they just want to put people down like myself for collecting figures. They want to talk about whether or not I'm a virgin or if I'm married or, you know, I don't care. You know, if somebody wants to talk about how much, you know, sex they've had and what they do with their life, that's fine. But don't put other people down for it because it's like, I don't care, you know. I'm not going to share my personal life besides what I show here. This is my, you know, this is my hobby. I like collecting figures, and I don't care what else things. But to those of you who respect me for what I do, you guys are awesome. I appreciate it. You know, and I used to be discouraged back in the past because usually when I put videos back up in the day when I first started off YouTube, I always would get, like, a dislike and a troll comment first before I got any, like, any likes or positive comments. But, you know... Since then, I've I've grown as a YouTuber. I've found good friends who will at least have my back. Plus, I've had kind of learned how to be thick skinned. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll, I'll check your Instagram out. All right, so everybody, uh, go check out God Tank on Instagram, and of course, uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Rev Hell Cowboy. I'm gonna try to start posting there more. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll post some pics on my Instagram because I haven't done that in a while. I posted like a couple of figure pics, like my Dusty Rhodes that was. Post have a belt with it, and I just got the belt from Ringside. I'll um, try to get the Men on Card version too later on. By the way, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. Also has my original unboxing, and um, I also posted a pic of Ric Flair for his birthday. Of course, uh, Ric Flair had his birthday bash this past Monday, but we all know that was just to set up Batista come back. Of course, originally, I think most of us probably thought it was going to be for. You know, the continued feud between Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey, and Charlotte Flair since, you know, Charlotte is Rick's daughter and thought maybe that, I, I think we all thought that maybe they were going to be involved where Becky was going to be the one that's going to attack Rick, but Batista being back, definitely a surprise. But then again, for all the rumors that they wanted to do a match at WrestleMania with Triple H Batista, I, it, I mean, it, it made sense. And it was definitely the shock we needed because as of late, Raw and SmackDown, at least Raw more, SmackDown's been decent. But raw, you know, been hit or miss. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, if you guys saw my toy at the video, I did find Dusty Road to Target, and at the time I was still waiting for Ringside to send me my replacement belt for the Dusty that I had missing the belt. So next time I go to Target, if I see that Dusty there, I'll probably end up pick it up. You know why not? I don't mind buying two of every figure. I just don't. I mostly your focus on men on card, or I'll sometimes uh, buy loose figures, but. I'll probably go back and buy it if I don't buy it online, like through a ringside again or through Amazon. Um, but hopefully, next time I go out, I do find the WrestleMania displays at Walmart. Hopefully, I'll find, you know, Dusty, not Dusty, uh, I was trying to say, uh, Bob or like Bob Backlund or Sensational Sherry. But, uh, you know, just to even find anything new at Walmart would be great because uh, the, topics are, the topics is the only new thing I've seen at Walmart as of late, and I've kind of got tired of seeing them. And then I could care less see any older sets, especially all the peg wars like Charlotte Flair. <laughs> yeah, Batista, man. Both him and Triple H, both being, you know, like in their late 40s, early 50s. Yeah, Batista, what, he just turned 50 or he's getting ready to turn 50. And I know Triple H is going to turn 50 as well. I mean, you know what? And I'm happy for them, you know. He's definitely, you know, he's definitely in good shape. Probably not as as big and beefy as he used to be because obviously he slimmed down over the years because he had his brief, you know, MMA career and then he got into acting. But I'm sure he probably puts on weight, loses weight, depending on what movie roles he has to, to do. Like, I'm sure he had to put on a little more muscle to be Drax or they just probably told him, hey, just, you know, come as you are. <laughs> but yeah, Batista being back, that's cool. Um, and of course, Roman Reigns being back, Matt Hardy being back. Yeah, I want that figure, too. I definitely would love to get it. I mean, I want to get the Fan Central Triple H, and I've seen that Ringside has that figure now, along with the other first wave of the Fan Central figures. And, uh, I mean, at least get the rest of the Triple H. That, I mean, that's a pretty cool figure. So I hope I find that. I hope I can find the uh, Scott Hall. That one's, hell, even the Undertaker with the cloth, you know, trench coat. 
Because I remember they made an Undertaker figure from like, it was two years ago. Two or three years ago. It was around the time of WrestleMania at 32. So it had been three years ago. And he had the cloth trench coat, but he had the short hair. And I was like, hey, it was like an alright figure, but I would rather have it with long hair. When I think of short Undertaker, I think more of the American Badass than I do, you know, the dead man. The, you know, the Phenom. Which uh, I still wonder if we'll see Taker WrestleMania. Since, you know, now that he's distancing himself from the company, at least at the current moment. But yeah, you know, another month till WrestleMania. For now, Fastlane will be next Sunday, and hopefully, you know, it'll be a good show. Right now, there's only four matches that are scheduled. Um, they'll have Asuka defend the title against Mandy Rose. Yep, I'm glad. Yep, it definitely is a sweet looking figure. I mean, I'm going to definitely try to get it where I get it at Walmart or I get it on Amazon, but. Yeah, as I was saying, you know, Oscar versus Mary Rose. Uh, let's see, got Usos defend the belt belts again. I think it's Miz and Shane again. Is that correct? I can't. Of course, Kevin Owens taking the place of Kofi Kingston against Daniel Bryan, and then, ah oh, man, what wasn't there like a match on Raw? I'm trying, I'm trying to remember the full card. I just know the card is real short right now. Do I have a fair figure? You know, yeah. I have to say my fair figure is the first of five months Macho Man Randy Savage figure. The one where he's got the, you know, the purple and white cowboy hat, purple and white entrance jacket. He's doing this pose. Uh, that That's a sweet figure. I definitely have to say that's probably my fair figure, especially since I got it after he passed away. As I didn't see it in retail before his passing. And, you know, when it, when it happened when it was in 2011. So when I found that figure at Kmart, of course, uh, a place that's not around in my area. I had to get it. I mean, it was around the time. This was 2011. Kmart closed down my area just last year. But when I found that figure and Macho Man being my favorite of all time, I had to get it. And I like like every Macho Man figure that's been made by Mattel so far. Like where it's elite, where it's basic. The Tough Talker one was all right. Though I don't think I was going to get that one at all. But I may have to go look for it for the heck of my Macho Man collection. Oh, I mean, I would love to collect more Macho Man figures. Whether it be his Toy Biz figures... LJNs, Hasbro's, uh, original San Francisco toy makers, you know, yeah, it's a sweet figure, and I and I have, like I said, I, I like all his figures. I'm I have the majority of Macho Man's figures. I think the only figures I'm missing right now when it comes to elites, I haven't found the Retro Fest Macho Man yet. I saw it once, was broke, didn't buy it, but I'll, I've seen it go online for cheap, or I'll have to wait till I find a GameStop again and buy it when it's on sale. And, and I know there's like maybe a basic or two of the Macho Man I'm missing, but I've got like almost. Every other lead, I've got his second five moments. Uh, I got a couple of his ringside exclusives. And every other lead, they made legends and so on and so on. Yeah, that Nia Jax looks pretty cool. I, I might get it soon. I mean, it's cool that you got the, the option to switch out the heads. I like that they're doing that now with the heads, the hands, and other session, you know, other parts of the body you can switch off. Like, I know they did with the Mean Gene flashback figure where you can switch off the, you know, the, the coat and the arms. That was supposed to be a build for you originally. And yeah, the stuff rolls, the fire pants, that's a cool figure. If I see a League 64 in my area, I'll definitely get that figure. I did get his top picks figure, which is also a nice figure because it comes with the raw belt, the tag belts, and the intercontinental belt. But, you know, the Elite 64 with the fire pants with just the raw tag belt, that's definitely a cool figure. I'm going to pick it up. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good battle pick. I, yeah, I, I have those figures. I have my loose collection with, yeah, Mach Man Punk. Yeah, that, that was cool. Back, I used to be a big CM Punk fan back in the day. I almost. I almost collected every CM Punk figure that was out. At least I tried to collect every Punk figure. I have probably the majority of Elite, except for like maybe the All Stars Punk, the uh, Ringside Exclusive Strange Society Punk, and then I'm the uh, Build a Figure Ricardo Rodriguez set Punk. But I have like all of his regular set of Elite, some out of the package, some in the package. I'm not really a big Punk fan anymore since he walked out of the company five years ago, but which I forgave until I listened to that podcast. And you should, man. It's an awesome figure. I was not expecting to find that Jim Duggan when I went to GameStop. I didn't know it was out when I found it. Like, I saw, like, Shawn Michaels. I've seen the Hong Kong Man. Like I said, I've seen the Macho, which if the Macho Man would have been there, I would have bought it. But to have seen that Jim Duggan, I was like, man, I did not even see any YouTubers posting videos. I've, I've seen YouTubers posting, you know, videos of either the Pete Dunn or Bob Backler or Seth Cherry, you know, you know, figures or of the NXT Taker or Four. I'm like, man, those first I'm probably not gonna find anytime soon or ever. But to find that Jim Duggan, I was like, you know what? That's awesome. To at least get one figure, I was, which I have felt was gonna be hard to find, maybe happy. So I'm definitely happy I have my collection of course. I'm gonna grab for the heck of it. You know, still a pretty cool looking figure. I'm definitely happy I had it. And you know, 
speaking of Macho Man, you guys, you know, know your wrestling history, and I know I learned this recently. Macho Man beat Jim Duggan to become the Macho King. Because Jim Duggan was doing the King thing before Macho, but, you know, still pretty cool figure. Back of the box. Thought I'd show again, you know, even though it was in the uh, Twitter RC. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was say, if you do de definitely get it, um, hopefully you'll meet Jim Duggan again and get it signed, but either way, still a sweet figure, especially just for that package it, I mean, if if one day I decide just to take everything out of the package, I would get the Jim Duggan the package, maybe some of the other exclusives, you know, just because the package is usually pretty cool of exclusives, at least with most exclusives, like, like Ringside and, and some other places, but, you know, or if I ever wanted to get a second one loose, I probably would, and just... I guess I keep one in the box, just because that box is pretty nice looking. Um, so I'm trying to think of the other stuff to talk about. You guys have everything else you want to bring up? You know, Phil 3. Um, I might be in the stream here eventually. Just because I think my voice is starting to kind of... I don't know, I may, I may get a drink in between, but... You know, I most just came on so I could open up some cards, you know. Of course, cool Matt Roll again for anyone just joining. And, you know, just... Uh, you know, come on, chat, you guys. Yeah. At least with the guy, with the two of you who actually are good, you know, say good things. <sighs> trolls, of course. God, gotta love the trolls, man. I think I scared that troll away when I blocked like three or four accounts. He's probably trying to think, hmm, what name can I use next? Uh, I was like, you know, you know these trolls. They'll think of any racist, derogatory, you know, name they can think of. Oh, cool. Tista, hey, Tista Stone Cold, that's awesome. I would love to meet a wrestler. I've had friends who've met wrestlers, like one of my friends, um, Zach, who you guys probably have seen my Toy Anthony videos. He met Hulk Hogan one time, and I was jealous. And, you know, love or hate Hulk Hogan, this is, you know, whatever for what Hogan said, you know, still, I mean, you know, Hogan's still one of the biggest icons in wrestling, you know, can't deny that. But, you know, I was jealous when he went to, when he saw Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was like, I think it was like doing some product presentation of some kind or working with some companies. So that's why Hogan was there. And my buddy Zach even got to, you know, shake Hogan's hand, take a picture with him. I was like, man, I was so jealous. And then the closest I would have maybe, I would have maybe got to meet a wrestler was when Chavo Guerrero came here recently to a place called Hero Haven, which is like a, a comic book and figure shop that just opened up a while back here in the Wichita area. Unfortunately, I had to work, and I, it was like so, like it was so late, and when I heard about it, that I missed my chance to schedule off work and go and meet Chavo, and also my phone is getting all weird. Okay, there we go, focus phone. But like I said, I, I really wanted to meet Chavo, and then Augie man just said you met Hacksaw and Daniel Bryan, so yeah, cool. Daniel Bryan would be nice for us to meet, you know. <laughs> I don't know if he liked to hear that, that word meat, because, you know, Darren Bryan's a vegan. <laughs> no, but seriously. I don't know. Maybe someday. I'm, I'll am i be trying to look out to see maybe next time a wrestler comes to town, maybe if, if the place here in town, Hero Haven, actually does another meet and greet with a wrestling legend of some kind. Or, I don't know, maybe if I can win tickets to a show and maybe they'll give me, like, backstage passes to meet some of the wrestlers. All right, cool. Thank you, man. God take one. God take. I appreciate you being on my stream. Uh, I'll I'll go check your Instagram out later. I'll try to sub back to your channel and and yeah, I do appreciate you being on the stream, man. Thank you. You rock, man. So um, it's, it's now five o'clock here where I am. So six o'clock, of course, next week daily savings time. Don't forget, guys, set your clocks forward. So of course, and I will be back on next Sunday for. Fast lane for sure, which maybe now that it'll be, you know, a little bit brighter since we'll be an hour forward next Sunday, which would be good because when I'll be doing these streams that I usually do them so late that the sun starts going down and, and I'd have to grab like my lamp and bring it in here. But, oh, well, whether I do them with light or I do them in the dark, you know, I still enjoy these streams. And, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of other things to talk about. I mean, uh <laughs> I right, so I'll probably get right in the stream. So anyone else who's watching, you of course watching the replay. Hope you guys enjoyed. But uh, yeah, because I've been on for a good forty-five minutes now as I'm talking. So if anyone else has anything else to say before I leave, anything good, of course, because I block trolls. I 
don't even humor trolls. <laughs> well, actually, I might. I'll just, you know, just tease them back, you know, whatever. Trolls will be trolling because they want to put you down. They want to, you know, end your career on YouTube, which I don't even much of a career to begin with. I'm not grim, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, well, it's, like I said, it's getting, it's not really late. I mean, I'm still going to be up course, you know, doing whatever after this. Probably watch some stuff on TV. Maybe I'll watch some old WWE Network stuff. Maybe I'll watch like an old pay-per-view. I don't know what I'll watch. I thought maybe doing like, I don't know, maybe some binge watching on Hulu. Maybe watch like some, I don't know, Rick and Morty or something. Um, Yeah, I, I guess that's really about it. I'm going to wrap it up here. So once again, final recap of the cards. I'll once again just show. All right, Augie, man, I appreciate it. Thanks for being on, dude. I appreciate being on my stream. I'll try to start watching your streams if I'm home for them. So I know you'll do, like, gaming streams every now and then, so I'll definitely have to check you out your streams again. So once again, recap of the cards. This sweet, sweet Belting Dream, Matt Relic. The Roman Reigns parallel. And then the other parallels of Paul Cruz, Cedric Alexander, Nikki Bella, Sasha Banks, the boss. Wish my phone was stop auto focusing. And then finally, the Killing Dane. And that, that's it, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I will be back on next Sunday around five o'clock Eastern, four o'clock Central, or maybe, maybe not, maybe not there. Maybe I'll be on at six o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Central. I'll try to be on here before or during the Fast Lane, you know, kickoff show. Not yeah, Fast Lane. That's right. I was supposed to say the wrong show. Like I had it right. <laughs> All right, Augie man, thank you. Uh, you're welcome, dude. So, guys, to Augie Man and to One God Tank, thanks for joining me. Everybody else, um, hope you guys enjoy this on the replay. And, of course, the trolls. Hey, you know what? Keep trying. I don't care how many sock counts you made. Well, it's like, whatever. Trolls will troll always. But you know what? Subscribers, the ones who support me, you guys are awesome. I'm proud to have my cool, awesome subs of the channel. Talk wrestling, talk figures, talk whatever else comes to mind. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Rock on, keep collecting, and if I don't see you before Sunday, I hope to see you guys on Sunday for Fast Lane next Sunday. Unless I do a toy before then, but anyways, I'll see you guys next Sunday. So guys, thanks again for watching.